R linear and C linear. The idea is not complicated, but it's not always spelled out very well. So here's my take. In order for something to be linear in general, there are two conditions. f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y, and f of ax equals a f of x. Now, what does it mean to be R linear? It means that in the second condition, a has to be a real number. And if something's C linear, that means a can be a complex number. And that's a very important distinction. For example, if you talk about generic vectors in two dimensions, that could be a plus bi, c plus bi, and we want to say, how many dimensions is that as a vector space? Well, if you think back to the nitpicks of the definition, a vector space is always defined over a field. You have to specify the field. Now, most of the time, this is just sort of a given. It's obvious. We don't even think about it. It's like when people skip writing the coordinate system in physics, where they're like, well, of course, up is y and to the right is x. But sometimes it's important and you have to think about it consciously. So if we're talking about how many dimensions this vector space has, we have to say, well, which vector space? Vector space over the real numbers or vector space over the complex numbers? See, if you're allowed to have a complex coefficient, then complex number times 1, 0, and complex number times 0, 1 would give you everything. So that would be a two-dimensional vector space over C. But if you're only allowed to have real coefficients, the space is four-dimensional because all of these are different. They are all linearly independent in the space of complex two-dimensional vectors over R.